If you walk through parts of over the Rhine, you will notice some construction. New signs are going up and there are markings in the sidewalks mm -hmm. as well. All of it has to do, though, with beer and Cincinnati's rich history with some good old libations. Here's mm -hmm. Tessa DeTiro. The first signs are being installed on the Brewing Heritage Trail. Nobody, you know, has a brewing history like we have in the middle of a neighborhood like over the Rhine. There is no official start of this 2.2 mile path through the city and you can hop on or off wherever you want. We built the middle section first and so, but this is the, the real heart of the brewery district along McMicken Avenue here is where most of these pre-prohibition breweries were back in the day. You can follow the signs and bronze medallions in the sidewalk by yourself or take a guided tour. This sign talks about election riots and the Civil War and different aspects. So it's not just those real fun facts. There's a lot of real history here. As part of the Brewing Heritage Trail experience, there's also a companion app. You can look up history at your fingertips and plan some of your stops. These signs will finish the first segment where you can learn about breweries that used to sit here like F and J A Link, Hudipole and John Kaufman Brewing. Brewing wise, we're one of the biggest brewing cities in the country, especially per capita. We made more beer per person in the city than almost anybody. It's a tour ensuring we don't forget our storied past while celebrating a resurgence. It's a real investment in the city's uh, history and, and its future as an economic development tool to bring more people to this neighborhood and to the city. Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Cool story for a Friday evening or really any time because the time's yeah. always right to have a good beer, right? The app is available right now in the App Store. Just search Brewing Heritage Trail.